So the new trailer for Jujutsu Kaisen Shibuya Incident finally came out, and we have a lot to talk about in it. But I just want to say, this thing looks fantastic. It's everything we've been waiting for, and it's a great teaser for what we're going to get in just a few weeks. Now, of the things that we're going to talk about, I think it's important to talk about the trailer first. Uh, the trailer looks amazing. We have clips of multiple different parts of the Shibuya arc. It looks beautifully animated. It looks like a lot of time and attention was paid to this. I mean, it has just been one of the best looking trailers I think we've ever gotten for Jujutsu Kaisen, which is saying a lot because this is one of the best looking anime, I think, ever. So, MAPPA has really outdone themselves with this particular go-round, and I am so looking forward to getting to see this. We get teasers for everything from the, really, the Mechamaru versus Mahito fight to Gojo versus Disaster Curses. There wasn't really a part of the Shibuya incident that wasn't quite teased in this, except for maybe the very end of it. And even then, all of the setup for it was teased with this. So, this trailer really did a great job. Plus, it is kind of fun seeing everyone lose their minds at Tsukuna's Landing Arrow again. That was a big deal when it hit the manga, and it's kind of funny to see it be a big deal again now that it's hit the anime. I think the other thing we have to talk about is the fantastic new opening song. Uh, King Yu is by far and away one of the best bands that Jujutsu Kaisen have had, and that's kind of saying a lot because there are no bad songs or bad musicians for Jujutsu Kaisen. It's been nothing but greatness ever since first season. And really, this song really fits the perspective of what we're going into. It sounds dark, but it sounds like it has kind of action gravelly tone to it. It perfectly fits the mood of the Shibuya arc, and it's going to be a great thing to get us hyped up every time we turn this on now. So while we don't have the full song yet, I'm totally going to put it on my playlist and listen to it repeatedly. And of course, I think the last thing we have to talk about is the timing of this trailer. This trailer obviously comes in the middle of what, for at least dub viewers, is going to be a two-week break, and for everyone else is still kind of a long break anyway, because they didn't get a new one last week, no one this week, so it's two weeks no matter which way you cut it. The thing is, though, is that with this, I think there's a very specific reason we've gotten this trailer now to get us all hyped up, and that is, if we look at the amount of timing that we're going to get now for this new season of Jujutsu Kaisen, all of it's going to line up to happen in October. They have literally lined this up to premiere most of the Shibuya incident in October of 2023. This is very similar to how they actually had Jujutsu Kaisen Zero premiere on December 24th, the same day that the night parade happened in the movie. It's very cool when a company takes this into account and uses this as part of their marketing, and it just makes me so excited. So I'm really looking forward to this, and this trailer was fantastic.